everybody, I am Nico D. Today I'm gonna show you how to install official Windows 10 on a USB device, so on an SSD for the Atomic Pi. This can also work on any other PC, but I'm gonna focus on the Atomic Pi. I'm also gonna show how to install the drivers, because there's a little problem here also. So it is very easy to do. All we need for this is the Windows 10 ISO image and Rufus to write it to our USB device. So first of all we will download the official Windows 10 image. So for that we will type in Windows 10 ISO download. So here this link. So click this button. For me it's in Dutch. It will all look the same in any other language. So download it and open it. Okay. So here we choose the second choice, so to create an ISO, I will change my language for you to English, so it will all look the same in the installation. Ok, next. And here we choose ISO file. Now we choose the location where to download it, and also the name for the file. So I'm gonna call it Windows 10 English. So just let it download. This will take a while. The whole installation will take hours. So be prepared. Have some snacks. I will make it as quickly as possible in this video. So the next thing we will have to do is download Rufus. For that we will go again to Google and we type in Rufus. Okay. So here it is, and we can download it, so download Rufus 3.8, and we open it. Ok, yeah, first we choose the destination, so where you want to burn it onto, so your SSD or any USB device, so then we choose our image. Here this is important, we, ha we will have to choose Windows on the go. Only then it will work from USB drive. Otherwise it will see it as an installation disk. So we choose all this. Be sure it is in NTFS and not FAT32. So give it a name, Win10, and click start. That's all we need to do, just wait until it finished. Oh yes, I will choose Windows 10 Home. Let it do its work. And when it's done, just plug in your USB device into your Atomic Pi. So first we need to go to the BIOS if you already have an operating system on your EMMC to set the SSD as boot device. So we go to boot and here the first priority we choose the Windows boot manager and the second one the Android IO. This is also something for uh, Rufus to make this work. And Ubuntu as third. Ok, I'm gonna save this. Save. And reset, yes. And now wait a very long time. It will look like there's not much happening on your Atomic Pi, but it is. It is setting up everything. Just let it do until it enters the setup of Windows. So when the installation process has finished, we can install the drivers. So to download them, there is a link in the description. So I've got them here on my USB stick, so I will copy them to the desktop. So first of all we uncompress all the drivers. And then there is a small problem with them. For the first driver, if we want to install it, it doesn't work.
There is a simple fix for it. We just have to copy the directory the driver is inside to our desktop. So the directory win1064 we copy this to our desktop and then it does work. It's a problem with the directory names of the above lying directories. So just install all the drivers and then the last thing you will have to do is of course windows update. So for that we type in windows update and here it is. And we let it search for new updates. This can take hours or even a day. So just let it do. And when it is finished then you will have a usable atomic pie. I must say Windows 10 doesn't run perfect on it. This isn't the perfect board of course to run Windows 10 on it. You have to know this. Run Linux on it if you want to have a better experience. I just wanted to show how to do this because somebody asked for it. I am not going to use Windows 10 on this device. So it is up to you to choose to use this. But it is usable and certainly for gaming it is very good. So that's it for today. I hope you all liked my video. Thank you all for watching. See you all later. Bye.